There's a common misunderstanding about camouflage. People are always searching for the one best system, but that's the wrong way to think about it. There are only different tools for different problems. Let's compare two very different approaches, the classic ghillie suit and the modern ghost hoodie. Both are incredibly effective and both will fail you completely if used in the wrong context. Understanding why they work is more important than just owning one. A traditional ghillie suit is not just a piece of clothing, it's a system. It combines a uniform base, camouflage netting, and the ability to weave in natural vegetation directly from the environment around you. The purpose isn't just blending colors, it's about obliterating the human silhouette, especially around the head and shoulders, which is the first thing the eye recognizes as a person. A proper ghillie suit is designed for a specific purpose, crawling. It's for going prone, for stalking over long periods, and for staying extremely low to the ground. The front is reinforced to protect you from wet soil and rough terrain, keeping your body profile flat and irregular. For this specific job, nothing beats it. But that dedication comes with major trade-offs. Ghillie suits are bulky, they're heavy, and they are incredibly time-consuming to prepare and maintain. They're completely impractical for fast movement or walking long distances. It's not something you casually carry just in case. In many situations, that level of camouflage is overkill and carrying it actually limits your flexibility. This is where the ghost hoodie enters the picture. The ghost hoodie is a super lightweight camouflage poncho, usually weighing around 400 grams. It's designed to be compact, breathable, and deployed in an instant. You can fold it into a pocket or a small pouch, which fundamentally separates it from a ghillie suit. Instead of replacing your clothes, you wear the ghost hoodie over your existing uniform or even civilian gear. It includes a hood with mesh to conceal your face and provides arm coverage to eliminate those hard shadow outlines. You can throw it on in seconds, no preparation, no adding vegetation. The biggest advantage here is adaptability. You can use it to camouflage yourself temporarily, to hide bright clothing, to cover a backpack, or even create a fast observation hide. Because it's so light, it's ideal for photographers, observers, law enforcement, or anyone in a reconnaissance role who needs camouflage occasionally, not constantly. But neither system is perfect. A ghillie suit fails you the moment you need mobility, when you're moving with a team, or when the terrain changes frequently. The ghost hoodie, on the other hand, struggles when you need to crawl for any real distance or move through dense bushes at ground level. It offers no protection from a cold, wet environment. It only disrupts your visibility. So here's the conclusion. If your mission demands long duration crawling, direct ground contact, and the absolute maximum disruption of your silhouette, you need a proper ghillie suit. But if what you want is compact camouflage, fast deployment, versatility, and minimal weight, the ghost hoodie is one of the most practical tools available. The key isn't choosing what looks cooler, it's choosing what fits your environment, your style of movement, and your ultimate objective. Camouflage doesn't make you invisible, it just gives you more control over when you're seen. And that's what really matters.